Hello, good day everyone. This is Miss Kitty Quinn and this video lesson is for those who were not able to attend during the synchronous lessons. Okay, whether you are section 5, 10, 16, 17, or 26, you are welcome to watch this video. So this is the intro of the lesson for our third quarters, the front office services or the FOS. Before I proceed to the lesson, let me remind everyone who is viewing this that this video lesson is created for my students in Abed Santos High School for their synchronous lessons and for those students who were not able to attend during the synchronous lesson. So I put this so the students will be able to check the videos whenever they are free. So let's proceed. Before anything else, again, those students, uh, the following activity is for you to answer by yourself. So you can agree or disagree on your own, depending sa isip lang, as I uh, read the following slides. Okay? So... Pwede, yung, pwede kayong mag-thumbs up or thumbs down or yes or no. How will nabasa ko to? If you agree, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down or yes or no. Okay, do you agree? Pang sarili to. I have visited any hotel and resort in any provinces in the Philippines. Have you? Yes or no? Kayo lang ang makakasagot. Okay, next. I have slept on one of the rooms in that hotel. Nakatulog na ba kayo dun sa hotel na binisita ninyo? Yes or no? Okay. Next. I know someone who works as a front desk officer or a receptionist. May kilala ka ba na nagtatrabaho sa front desk office or receptionist? sa isang hotel. Okay. Next. I have a landline or a mobile phone. May cellphone ako o landline. Kapag sinabing landline, oops, kapag sinabing landline, ito yung telephone sa bahay. Yung tinatawagan, landline. Mobile phone, yung cellphone natin. Probably, this is what you are using right now. Na? Okay. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay, next. I have already seen a room key card. Nakita na ako ng room key card. Ano ba yung key card? So, para siyang card. Kung nakasakay na kayo ng LRT, mukha siyang ganun, pero pinangbubukas ito ng kwarto sa hotel either the need or ni scan doon sa doorknob na electronic. Okay, kung hindi pa, madidis kasi yan sa mga susunod na videos. Next, I have experience using a computer. I have experience using a computer na gamit na ng computer. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay, next. Does a CCTV camera help solve a crime? Nakakatulong daw ba yung CCTV sa pagresolba ng mga crime? Agree or disagree? Okay, next. Do you know the uses of an MTM envelope? Alam mo ba yung gamit ng mga walang laman na envelope? No? Yes or no? Okay, let us proceed. Okay. Have you ever seen a safety deposit box in a bank or even in a movie? Nakakita na yung safety deposit box sa banko o kaya sa mga palabas. Kung hindi pa, madidiscuss din yan sa mga video ng tools. This is probably the last. Did you have a walkie-talkie when you were a kid? Nagkaroon ba kayo ng walkie-talkie nung, nung bata pa kayo? 
Kasi parang jolly bee kung saan pwedeng mag-usap-usap. Okay. So, let us proceed. So, lahat ng yon yung mga tanong na yun, may kinalama yun sa front office services. So, let's start. Ano nga ba yung front office services or FOS na tinatawag? If you would notice, here, the background is the hotel lobby. And this part is the front desk. Yan, yung binibilugan ko, that is the front desk. At lahat na nangyari dyan, that is the front office services. Probably, itong dalawang to ay nag-check-in. This one, nag-check-out. Ito namang mama na to ay nagtutulak ng cart, bellhop cart, na may mga luggage ng mga guests. So, lahat ng yan ay front office services. Okay, what, let us define that is front office. Okay, so the front office of a hotel and any other hospitality establishment, again, hospitality establishment is considered as the most important, let me emphasize this, most, pinaka, importanting area of business organization. It is the most uh, important area of business organization. Ano daw yung pinaka-importante? That is the front office <coughs> of a hotel or, <coughs> or any other hospital establishment. Ano ba yung nangyayari sa, if, sa front office? It includes reception, cashier, yung pagtanggap ng reception, cashier dyan nagbabayad. Reservation, yung pagpapareserve ng kwarto, telephone operation, bell desk services and say, that satisfy or that will certainly satisfy the needs of the clients. Bell desk service, ito yung mga uh, yung mga porter service, yung pagbibigay ng mga forms, pag-check pag -check, pag -check in ng, ng guest, pag-check out during the departure, those are the different bell desk services. Okay, next. Let us further uh, define front office. Front office, as defined in a financial dictionary provided by the Wall Street Oasis or WSO, it is a business term. Again, it is a business term that pertains, that pertains, that the to the client-facing part of the firm. Ito daw ay pumapatungkol sa client-facing part of the firm. Ano yung sabihin nun? Sila yung humaharap sa mga tao and focuses on working with guests. Sila din yung nag-work o naglilingko dun sa mga guests. Okay? Sila yung tao sa tao. Kung baga, minibenta na nasa front office ay yung servisyo nila, hindi produkto. Next, another. Okay, sabi dito, ano ba ang front office? The front office daw of a hotel, aside from welcoming the guest, maliban sa pag-welcome ng guest, generally perform several basic services. May mga iba pa silang ginagawa such as processing, processing advance reservations. Ano ba yung advance reservations? For example, uh, you need to go somewhere na wala kang kakilala. So, syempre, magpupunta ka sa hotel. Tawag ka sa hotel, pipili ka ng room, sasabihin mo doon kung anong klaseng room yung gusto mo, anong oras ka darating sa hotel, mula anong araw ka mag-stay sa hotel hanggang anong araw. Para malaman din nila kung meron silang available na room doon. That is advanced reservation, but that is free. Kapa, yung tinatawag na advanced reservation, ito yung kapag nagpa-reserve ka na. Okay? Next, registering guest. Ire-registro nila yung guest para malaman kung sa anong araw at anong oras darating para malaman nila kung tatanggap pa ba sila o hindi na. Rooming guest, so bibigay ng room sa guest. Handling guest luggage, so 
ito yung paghatid or pagtulong nila sa pagbuhat ng mga kagamitan or bags ng guest. Ang, ang gumagawa niya usually is the porter or the bellhop or the bellboy. Uh, yung bellboy, tinatawag din siyang bellhop or porter. Okay, issuing room keys, yung pagbibigay ng suse, front office din ang kumagawa, providing information, handling guest mail, yung mail na tinatawag pwedeng sulat or parcel, yung parcel yung mga dumarating na mga baggage, yung kapag wala si guest, sila muna yung tatanggap. Administering telephone services, accounting, o oh, yung accounting, yung sabi ng accounting, it is making payments and billing and checking out guests. Yung pagbabayad ng guests, sila yung nag-aasikasi doon. At yung pag-check out ng guests, o yung paglabas ng guests sa hotel. Next, in other words, so sa mga madaling salita, the front office can be called as the showcase window of a hotel okay first term showcase window of the hotel why is it the showcase window because it reflects the image of the whole company so ibig sabihin kung hindi maganda yung mga pinakakitungo o trabaho na mga nasa front office hindi magiging maganda yung imahe ng buong kumpanya Kung pangat yung mga ugali nila, syempre mag, mga magkukwentuhan na yung mga tao. Eh, alam mo ba, sa gayong ng hotel. Yung mga nagkaano doon, di magandang servisyo. So, magre-reflect yun sa buong company. And the nerve center. Okay, sino ba? Okay, the nerve center. Because it is where all information and messages are communicated to the different different departments and personnel. Kaya siya na nerve center kasi lahat ng information doon dumadaan sa kanila. Okay? Sa kanila lahat mga bagsak, yung mga, yung mga tawag mula sa labas, pati yung palabas na mga calls, sa kanila yon pupunta. Dumadaan. It is also compared to a command center. Pwede din siya tawagin command center that oversees si sila yung nagbabantay tumitingin ng habuan and assist the guests stay. Sila yung nag-a-assist sa mga guests sa pa, na mga, mga, mga nag-stay sa hotel. Sila yung tumutunong sa mga guests. Next. Okay, sa front office, meron tinatawag na guest cycle. Okay, guest cycle. Ayan. So, the guest cycle consists of all the activities. All the activities that each guest undergoes from the moment he or she calls. Again, mula saan daw? From the moment he or she calls for a reservation, inquiry until he or she departs. Ang tawag doon, simula tumawag kapag ang guest ay tumawag sa hotel at nagtanong-tanong at nagpa-reserve. Guest cycle ang tawag doon. Ang guest cycle, ito yung buhay ng isang guest sa loob ng hotel. Okay? Ito yung buhay ng isang guest sa loob ng hotel. And there are four stages. Again, inuulit ko, nagsisimula yung cycle na yan mula sa pagtawag sa hotel pagtatanong kung meron bang kwarto na available for example from April 26 to May 3 meron bang available na kwarto kung magkano at kung binook na that is part of the guest cycle in fact ayan in fact the guest cycle encompasses four different stages may apat na stages daw ang guest cycle. And these are pre-arrival. Yung sinabi ko kanina na pagtawag pa lang at pagtatanong kung meron bang available na room, that is under pre-arrival. Pre. Ibig sabihin ng pre before. Ara, before. Okay? So, before arrival. 
Ito yung mga yung reservation, yung confirmation, yun. Next stage, the second stage of the guest cycle is the arrival. Yung arrival, ito na yung pagdating mo sa hotel. The moment you step into the hotel, that is arrival. Kinuha mo yung sus, uh, pumunta ka sa front desk, nag-check in ka, that is arrival. Arrival stage. Okay, the third stage of this is what we call the occupancy. Okay, occupancy. Yung occupancy, that is the moment you use the facilities of the hotel. The moment na nabigyan sa yung susi, pumasok ka sa room mo, umakit ka sa room mo, pumasok ka, ginamit mo na lahat. That is the occupancy stage. Ano pa nangyayari sa occupancy stage? Yung halimbawa, lalabas ka sa glit, papalinis mo yung kwarto mo. That is still occupancy stage kasi naka-check-in ka. And then the last part is the departure. The departure. Okay. In departure stage, dito natin yung settling of accounts. Ibig sabihin ng departure from the root word depart, ibig sabihin paghiwalay or uh, dito it means pag-alis sa hotel. Sa departure, dyan ang nangyayari yung pagbabayad, settling of accounts, and yung suse or yung keycard ibinabalik sa front desk. Again, ang keycard hindi inuwi. <coughs> Next, in doing this, para magawa lahat tong guest cycle na to, again, there are four stages in guest cycle, pre-arrival, arrival, occupancy, and departure. In doing this, knowledge on the use of front office tools, equipment, and paraphernalia should be effectively exhibited. So, para daw magawa ito, kailangan may alam kung paano gagamitin mo ito sa equipments and paraphernalia para maging maayos ang trabaho. Next, in every kind of work, tools, equipments, and paraphernalia plays an important role in order to perform the task work effectively and efficiently. If you would remember, tools, equipments, and paraphernalia were always present in our topics in every mini courses, even last year, in your first year. The tools, for example, in just making the ruler, the sewing gauge, the measuring, the tape measure, the needle, those are the tools. And the equipments are the sewing machines. Well, in the cookery, second quarter, the tools are the knives, baster, baster brush, uh, carton opener, can opener, bottle opener, whisk, and the equipments are the... <clears throat> the mixer, the refrigerator, the freezer, because it means uh, that these tools are really important to perform the task work effectively. We cannot use other tools for other jobs because tools are made for a specific job. Okay, thus, front office equipment, and paraphernalia are very essential. Okay, ito, essential. Saan na ba? Okay, wait lang. Essential. Di ba recently, the word essential, ano nangyari? Naging trend, <coughs> excuse me, naging trending ang essential na word dahil sa lugaw. Pero dito, sinasabi na ang tools, equipment ay essential in every business. Not to mention hotels, resorts, tissue park, and others. Okay, hindi lang siya dito essential, pero sa lahat. Those business must be equipped with the various latest technologies to make their business more productive and successful. So, sinasabi, may mga hotel daw, kailangan equip sila ng mga mahabagong teknolohiya para maging mas effective at syempre mas angat sa iba. Okay? So, next videos, we will be talking about the different tools, equipments, and paraphernalia in hotel and how to use them. And of course, do not forget to visit your classroom stream for the different 
instructional materials and quizzes. Send a PM to your teacher. Thank you for listening. God bless and keep safe. And see you on the next video. Watch the other video lessons. Bye!